Hello, 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 and welcome back to Cook It and Eat It here on Jim Johnston Reviews the World. And today, we're going to show you a great way to use up some of those holiday leftovers. And we're going to make the ultimate leftover turkey sandwich. What you need is some bread. I suggest sourdough or possibly a potato bread, green beans, your leftover stuffing, or in the case of last week's one pot crock pot, this is our veggies and our stuffing all in one. You need your turkey. You're going to want to have some Swiss cheese, cranberry sauce, and what would an ultimate sandwich be without bacon? All right, first things first, we're gonna put our turkey in the skillet so we can get it heated up before we build the sandwich. Because this is a ultimate turkey sandwich, we actually go ahead and we're gonna make this a double stack and use three slices of bread tonight. I just wanna get these in best I can. I think I can only fit two in right now. All right, so we wanna lightly toast our bread on both sides and then I'm gonna get out three slices of bread. So I'm gonna get out three slices of my Swiss cheese, three. All right, we're gonna get this bread lightly toasted on both sides and the turkey warmed up and we'll be back to show you how to assemble. All right, so we got our turkey heated through on one side, and we got our bread toast on the first side, flipped it over, put the cheese on, let it start getting ooey gooey. And now I'm gonna adjust this just a little. And we're gonna start building our sandwich here right on the griddle. I wanna do cranberry sauce, which doesn't fall apart. There we go. Slices of our cranberry sauce. And this was the slice kind on purpose, so we could use it in slices here. There we go, and then I took the liberty of just kind of smashing up some of my leftover all-in-one stuffing here in the side of the container with my fork. And for this stuffing slash all-in-one recipe and the turkey all cooked together in the crock pot for what was my one pot crock pot Thanksgiving dinner this year. Uh, link to that video is in the video description below. Go check that out if you haven't already seen it. But you don't have to have made my recipe for this. This is just an idea of how to use up those leftovers. I'm going to start to layer on this turkey. And this is going to be a serious sandwich. This is definitely a sandwich that is a meal. Let's heat up some slices of bacon. Go ahead, take this out, it's layer one, and then we need another slice of cheese on here, I think. I think, I think. All right, we'll continue building our sandwich. I'm gonna put a little, just a light amount of green beans here on top of our roasted turkey. Wake it up with a little fresh black pepper. All right, let's finish building this big old sandwich. And here's another thing, folks. If you get this cranberry, uh, the sliced kind, you can always use this, take it, put it in a bowl, stir it up a little, and use it as jelly. It would be really good on a piece of toasted sourdough, so don't forget that. Take our next slice of bread, then go cheese side down, into our toast and then our bacons. Just to be honest everybody while I'm doing this, I went back and forth, I don't know how many times about whether I wanted to make this a double stack or a triple stack, but I really thought we had more ingredients than just two pieces of bread could handle. Alright, that looked delicious. And of course immediately some of our stuff wants to come squirting out, so we'll just stick that back in there. And look at that. Used to be a place near me when I was younger that had what they called, and this wasn't in Colorado, so it was kind of funny, but they had what they called Mile High Club Sandwiches. Well, I guess we can call this my Mile High Ultimate Turkey. All right, we got everything put together. Did a little cleanup real quick. Now it's about time to eat. I think a Mile High Sandwich can only be chopped with a nice Mile High Blade. This is my Instapot Chop and Scoop, and there's a full video review of this here on Jim Johnson Reviews the World in the Jim Reviews Stuff category. There we go. Let's open her up and take a look. Look at that sucker. All kinds of yummy goodness. Melty cheese, bacon, because I believe any ultimate sandwich has to have bacon on it. All right, everybody, what do you say? I pick this up, do my best eye to kind of impersonation and dislocate my lower jaw and cram this into my mouth and see how she tastes. Bring the plate over here so I don't make a mess. Look at that, oh my God. Mm. My, oh my, is that delicious. It's a way to take those skimmy leftovers. Instead of making just a plain old turkey breast with maybe a slice of American or cheddar cheese on white bread or rye bread, this is a way to take everything out of the thing, use a little bit of it up, and make an awesome, thick, super stacked sandwich. This. One sandwich eats like a meal, folks. I want to thank you for tuning in to Cook It and Eat It here on Jim Johnston Reviews the World today. And if you like my stuff, go ahead and comment below, subscribe, and share this channel to help me grow the worldwide audience. And if you could, not too much trouble on your day, go ahead and click that like button below. That helps me out, helps my self-esteem. Also, if you like my stuff, engage with me on my social media platforms at Jim Johnston Reviews the World on both Instagram and Facebook. One last time before we go, I want to thank all of you who have joined Jim Johnston Reviews the world this year since we started with our very first episode isolation stew back in march and in this holiday and giving and thanksgiving time of year i am thankful for each and every one of you that tunes in and watches these videos interacts with me on facebook and instagram we'll be back at you next week with something amazing for sure till then remember from me to you be weird be free and most importantly be independent